Um, hi. Uh, one thing I noticed when I started writing More Than Meets the Eye specifically was um, how much use it makes of the space that it has. And I hear that this is a thing in comics, which I can imagine that there's just so much space on a page and only so much of that can be speech bubbles. And I imagine that this is an issue with, you know, television too. You only have so much space to work with. So like all of the dialogue is doing so much at the same time, multiple things. How do you work within these confines and still get across what you need to do? How do you make it do so much? I have, um, TF Con Toronto, I think I was on a panel with David Wise and he was saying, um, in, in this particular context, he was envious of, of comic writers because they, were, they, they could put more on the page, they could put more dialogue on the page. Um, I mean, I, I, More Than Meets the Eye is, is pretty dialogue heavy. Lost Light's pretty dialogue heavy. Um, an editor I worked with a while ago, his rule was um, a rule that was swiftly ignored um, <laughs> down the line. But um, it was sort of three, three panels, three speech balloons maximum per panel and, and three sentences per balloon. It's quite restrictive. So or, how do you make this meaningful? <laughs> yeah. But no, I mean, it's, I can only speak to the sort of that one particular medium. But I mean, there, you've... Um, Yes, a lot of the, uh, the the nature of the comic is such that a lot of the stuff is conveyed, a lot of the plot is, is through character interaction, and, which is mainly dialogue driven. Um, there's a lot, uh, it's, it's, it's dialogue heavy compared to other comics, but I can't speak to, you know, um, sort of the Well, well I mean, what you do is magic. I mean, of all, I've, I've written in pretty much every medium there is at one point or another, and I find comics the hardest, because I don't tend to think of story in terms of space. That's a gift you have, you know. I, you know, I mean, I tend to think of story in terms of time. You know, uh, you know, like novels, you don't have time. You can describe a room, you know, for thirty pages because a reader's expectation is they're reading a novel and it's going to take a long time. You know, when you when you do cartoons, you got to have the nervous system of a mongoose, and and you know, <laughs> people expect things to keep moving and keep happening and be visual and all that. Comic books are a fascinating medium because. They are verbal and they are visual. And you know, too much art and no talking, and it feels like I'm in an art gallery. And too much talking and not enough, you know, art, and you feel like you know somebody's lecturing you. And it, it's I, I find it to be a really hard medium. You know how you do time. And I've read you know Scott, you know, uh, yeah, 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 Scott McCloud's books, you know, twelve times over, and I, I still don't entirely get it. And I have to well, have people help. Well, whatever me. happens, yeah. it's impressive. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's too, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, even with comics, you know, you're limited to 20 pages or 22 pages, and um, and you talk about sort of the real estate of the page. How much, how much, literally, how much space is is this going to take up? Uh, five, five sequences are very hungry, very page hungry. Um, so you know, you want to have a sort of a, a good fist fight. That's that's potentially a quarter of your issue or a quarter of your episode yeah. is, is is gone. You know. Thank you. Mm.